Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into one of the most popular JavaScript libraries for building user interface, React. In this tutorial, we will walk through the process of getting started with React, covering the installation of React and Node.js as well as understanding the basic structure of React project. Whether you are new to the React or looking to refresh your knowledge, this video is for you. So let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. So today's session is about React installation. So how we can create React, our web application, which particular area we need to understand in React. In order to install React, you need Node.js. So first, if you don't have Node.js, go to Node.js official site. You will see all the release stable download. If you're using Windows, you will see the current uh, latest exe file. Open that. You can take the uh, latest one, detailed version, or you can also go for the stable version as well. So you, I would prefer to go stable version. Latest may have bugs, so better not to go. So eventually, all version after uh, React 4, 6, 7 are fine. So right now it is 18. So you just uh, open and take the required package. So you will see all the different uh, source. So all the tar and zip you you zip and that's there you can ignore if you get msi you can download for windows check your which bit you are working 64 or 32 you can take that to install just after that it might take few times you have to come back to your terminal so open your terminal your cmd command and write this first letter so npx create react app paste the first here so this first yes is your project name you can take, you can say React Web Application. It's your name. So NPX is the tool inside the React module. So this is uh, this is the package a bundle of package with the npm it itself comes. So when you install Node.js, you actually downloading the npm module. So npm is a man Node Manager, and under that you will get this NPX. So this is Node Project exec Execute. So will execute this particular command. This is a command for React, only for React. And we'll have different uh, name and other JavaScript library have different. So this will create your application, the required dependency, required packages for your application that will be installed default. You don't need to go and add manually. So this is the one time installation. After that, you will see a directory wherever you have, um, let's say you are in your D drive. So you have in the command prompt you have entered this like you will see this first will be created in your D drive. So you go to that first React and then you add npm start. So npm start is when when you will see all your app packages installed. So first of all you will see node module. This is the one which which will be uh, temporary to your internal project structure but not in your build when you when you deploy that in production this will not be there so this is a node module which helps all your dependency on on uh, all your code how you what you write how do you design everything this node module is going to help so if you want to add more packages node module will capture those it will have all your libraries if you open this node module you'll see all huge number of packages all di directory so this will have all packages which is going to help build your application Then we have public. Public is the place where your images, fab icons, and you can see this manifest and robot text are present. So what are five icon? You know the difference. What is fab icons? So in that external, you will see a icon at the top, right? Even in this whole eclipse, you will see this icon at the top. So these are the five icons. These are nothing but a visually icons, which is placed to identify particular tabs or website. So these are very important thing in terms of distinguished different pages. Like if somebody went to Facebook, you will see F, the Facebook icon, right? And if somebody went to uh, Twitter, it will see T. So it also understand which page you are visiting. So every brand should have its own five icons. So if you open, you will see this is not been visible because this is I ICO. You can place your own icon here. Then we have index. Index is the one where your template is. So public will have all your templates. 
and I would not say all your template. I would say the beginning of your uh, ST1. So this is the ST1 part. This is actually what you are uh, viewing, viewing in your web page. So you will see some header text all of this. So these are nothing but predefined how uh, who is going to read this page which is using. So you will see one line of code which is which is matter here, which is div id is root and def div close. This is the part. If you delete this one, your entire application will go. This this is actually running your React application. Other things are simple, plain HTML and CSS. Nothing else. Okay. So there are some more uh, images. You will see React bigger and more. They are default. Okay. Manifest. What are manifest? You may have heard manifest files. Talks about the project uh, information. So manifest have provide information about a web application in JSON text file. So whatever you are going to create with your web application, these are data, metadata we can say. Data about data. So these are this whole application is going to be a React app, right? So name you can, you, it says React app. So this means that this application is a React application, not a um, other uh, Angular application, right? So this is defined. This also holds some icons, different icons, it has URL, doesn't have URL, okay. Displays a standalone means single page application theme. It has, you can change the theme as well. These are, this theme is white. So white is the background. And uh, back color is the font color, whatever you write, that is in black color. So white and black. So this talks about the web page, the HTML page you are writing over. Okay. And then we have robot, robotics. So these, there is a new thing to you deploy your web application. The robotic holds the instruction for the search engine that tells which page they sh should and shouldn't crawl. So you may be familiar with uh, some SQL engine running. So Google also has their own, uh, some robot bots are there. What it will do, it will see all the web pages. So you, let's say your web page is deployed somewhere and you want your web page to be allowed or to be searched by certain keywords. This is the user agent, means any device. It can be mobile, it can be any website or any other third party website also. Everything will be disallowed if that somebody searching like hot that will be disallowed what is allowed you can mention what is allowed so somebody is searching react content so we can also uh, have multiple user agent which user agent which uh, who is uh, consuming this web page we can also define okay let's talk about some serious uh, thing we have package means that when you write npm start right this is the first thing what it does is it reads the packages this whole thing it will read the script, this this entire thing, it will execute each what what it so you have written npm start. So start means react script start. That is the thing it will run. So react script is where it is under this react. Oh, it is understood. So we will see name, what is the name of this? That is understood version will be the zero point. So if you want to upgrade, you upgrade this one, two, three, like this. And this is the private. What what private means that let's say you have published your your this web page and get all when uh, domain. If Private is true, NPM will refuse to publish it within NPM ecosystem. This is why to prevent the accidental publication of private repository. So sometimes what happens, you uh, have your repository which is not released yet. So that time you know, you mark this as a true. This is just will, will become private. Next we have dependency. So on your dependency, so all the first three dependency or the four dependency, these are the four dependency which will be added to here. So we have React. So React holds the React source for component date props. So all these things will be around this uh, inside this React. And all your source code will be handled by this React. And also it is responsible for creating views. So you see all the uh, DOM HTML tags we are going to manipulate. This React is helping. Then we have React DOM. React DOM is responsible to actually render your UI. If you see in the last session we saw there's a React DOM. So that there is a render method also. The render is actually modifying your DOM element. Means this React DOM is actually acting as a glue between this React. This has been asked in interview very much. What is React DOM? Okay. And then we can talk about React script. React script to run the build tools. Let's say you want to transform this JSX, React JSX syntax. So that is the transformation of React JSX syntax into plain JavaScript programmatically. That is React script helping us. The, the next we have web vitals. Web vitals checks the code performance. It also provides clear guidance on what metrics, like what metrics is matter and how to measure them. 
that is all written in this web details. These are the dependency also. If you want to add more dependency, so what you have to do is you have to go to the npm and in your command prompt add npm i, write i to install or you can also say install and you can add uh, more packages. So whatever you install, it will be added in, it will keep on adding in just after this, the end of the uh, dependency. ESLint uh, covers both code, code quality and code style issue. I can tell you that HTML is another tag, or JavaScript is another tag, which is another syntax. This ES and Lint will validate your code styling. So, sometimes what happens when you write some uh, different JavaScript pattern as well, there are some pattern defined. So, that also has to verify it by some, some tool, right? This ES Lint configure will help you. You can add your uh, more uh, packages. So, these are just, just is a JavaScript testing framework designed to ensure correctness of your JavaScript code base. So same thing is also with JS yes, lint config. It covers the code quality and code style. So in the last we have browser list which allows specifying which browser should be supported. So this is actually helping the developer not for the uh, user. This will tell application is compatible with which version. So these are all text. Okay, I can add these meaningful uh, text. Whoever comes and understand these are, this is not been tested on this whole application not going to be work after uh, 12 version. You have to test your application in different web browser. It can be tested in Opera Mini as well. It can be Safari, Chrome, My Mozilla Firefox, Edge, different. So all are different form factors. You have to test your different. You will see different different results. Uh, in my experience, I have I have faced this kind of challenges where you have to code for specific uh, browser as well because your web page is not going to uh, show the same display as you're in Chrome. But in dif uh, it will be different in Edge. Safari have different uh, uh, flavor. So you have to write the code for different web browsers. And we have package log uh, Like uh, it also have the exact version number. So same thing what you have seen in this packet. If you open this, this is the same thing. But it has more information. The purpose of this node package log is if there are multiple developer and every developer wants to install their own packages. If something happens, they can revert back to this uh, using the package lock. So what if, if it get deleted? It will be not very huge issue, but yeah, minor uh, patches should uh, is required. And at the end, we will see the readme file. This is for developer purpose. This has to be changed as because your web application is going to change. It, uh, this will tell the GitHub or any any program who is who wants to understand your application, what this application means to that. You can add those information. Yeah, that's it for this. Congratulations. You have successfully installed React, created a new React app, and explored the basic project structure. From here, you can start building your React components and explore the vast world of React development. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing to support our channel growth. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend to our audience. Before you go, I highly recommend checking out our next video. You can find the link in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Ati Dinath and you're being hanging out with BitScience. See you in the next exciting video.